Hi, today I have three tips for running an effective customer onboarding program in HubSpot, no matter which HubSpot plan you're on. We're gonna do this using Service Hub. So step number one, we're going to use a ticket pipeline to manage our internal process. A pipeline is a really great way to visualize the steps that your customers are gonna take, the stages that you need them to go through to move from signed up too successful. So we're gonna break up our onboarding process into stages. What are the things that people need to do, the dependencies that are gonna to have to be fulfilled in order to move people through this pipeline. This is gonna give your internal team great visibility into what's happening and gonna make it really easy to report on the progress that customers are making. So here we have a pipeline that has account setup, knowledge transfer, integration setup, testing and go live, and then our two closed uh, stages are the first meeting booked, which is going to be our value moment. That's really important to have the success or onboarded stage to be the thing that your customers are ultimately trying to do. So first meeting booked in this case would be we're a meeting booking tool. That's that first value moment that they're realizing. And we also have a failed state as well, which we can talk about in a separate video. Number two, onboarding is not a static process. You should always be iterating and improving based on data based on the feedback that you're getting from customers. So we have this reporting dashboard, which is pretty simple here. We have four blocks that are just looking at the difference in performance over time. So the last 30 days, how long did we take to move customers through our onboarding process? And this is for tickets, in this case, that were closed in the last 30 days. So the average time to close there was six days. And then if we go back a little bit, what was the average time to close for tickets that were closed in the last 60 days, 24.5 days here. So you can see here we have a great improvement and really being able to create your own baseline and then compare your performance over time against that baseline is the key. Lots of best practices, lots of benchmarks out there. The one that really matters is your own. And then these two bottom blocks over the same time period, how many tickets were we closing? We just want to have a gut check on if this is so much better than the last 60, is it because we closed you know, only a couple of tickets and that may change as we move forward or are these things all kind of in balance? And then the final thing that we're going to look at, step number three, is a customer facing plan that is gonna get everybody on the same page about what needs to happen, when it needs to happen and who is responsible. So I'm using Arrows to do this. Uh, Arrows is a customer facing plan that I can attach to a deal or ticket in HubSpot. You can see over here I have a card, which is the plan, uh, that I'm going to put in front of my customer, which will lay out all the steps that we're going to follow in onboarding. You can see I have this nice welcome card. Arrows will surface the next thing that is uh, on the docket to happen to make sure that's always front and center. And then I'm going to map the phases in Arrows to the stages that I've outlined in my onboarding plan in the pipeline in HubSpot. So we can see account setup. There are a few tasks. There are two for me to complete and one for the customer to complete. Having tasks that our internal team is gonna complete, you can hide these in arrows if you want, but I really like laying them out so the customer can see what's involved, what are the things that are going to need to happen for them to make progress, so they can see the investment that we're making as well. So as we move through here, we have the account setup, we have the knowledge transfer, and you can see that we're setting due dates on each of these things. And the goal being that laying out what the customer needs to do next, but also what is the roadmap to success, to that go live, celebrating our first big win together. Customers can see what the work is that they need to do and then why they're doing that. They want to get to an outcome that we've identified and then this is going to be the plan that's gonna drive them to that action. Once anybody makes progress in this plan, if I go ahead, I'll complete this first task that is assigned to me. I can come back into HubSpot and I'm gonna be able to see that progress right in the ticket itself. If I go back to the pipeline, I can also see that that data has been updated here. As phases are completed in the plan, we can move the, the ticket, the customer through our onboarding journey. So let me know if you have any questions on this. I'm also going to record a more advanced video with some automations and workflows and things like that. But let me know if this is helpful and what you would like to see in that video as well. Thanks so much.